So I forgot to pause my Garmin. Does that mean I have to do the workout all over again? Yeah. Hello everyone. So sometimes uh, you forget to hit stop on your Garmin. And in the past, this used to be a death sentence for your workout file. But not anymore, because Garmin recently created a new feature called Activity Trim. And you can do it from the browser on your computer or the Garmin Connect app on your cell phone. Um, and when you trim the activity to, you know, essentially start it and stop it where you want it to go, it actually updates all of the statistics too. So the miles per hour, the distance, the average heart rate, all of the metrics go ahead and, and get adjusted in um, the workout file. So today I'm in this video, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to do it both ways. And uh, at the end, I'll even show you how to revert it back to the original. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to head on over to connect.garmin.com and sign on in. And what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to find the workout file that you forgot to pause, right? And you'll see here I have this one bike ride that's 7.96 miles. Um, and, you know, clearly that's not correct, right? And if you take a look at this file, you'll see that... You know, there's a lot of craziness. It's kind of flying across the borough in this super straight line. Uh, to tell you a little bit about this, you know, every day after work, I typically leave and jump on a city bike and make my way over to Penn Station. Um, and then, you know, I go ahead and I find a place to dock the bike and, and wherever. So usually it's between 1.3 to 1.6 miles. Now the way to go ahead and to trim this file we're going to go and up in the upper right hand corner, there's this pencil. And when you hover over it, it says edit. Click on that. And then you'll see on the bottom left, there is a button called trim activity. Click on that. And you'll see there's a little description trim activity. If you start an activity on your Garmin device too early or ended it too late, don't worry. Trimming. It, uh, trimming your activity lets you remove unwanted portions for more accurate view of your overall performance. So it's actually really handy to do this on uh, the website and on the computer, right? So you just scroll down and what you see is you'll see this is your speed graph right over here, how fast you are going at certain points. And you'll see here that mine essentially just go ahead and pale and then dip off and disappear. You grab the end of this slider and you keep moving and you notice that the line actually turns blue, right? So right then and there, it's like, oh, there we go. I'm going to keep sliding it back to where the speed is moving so or so. And now I know that I docked the bike and because I didn't turn it off, I started walking into Penn Station. So I picked up some of the walking speed right over here. So I'm going to actually crop that out as well. Take it straight up to this line. And there we are, right? Let me zoom in a little for you all so you can see a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Notice I'm going to cut this little end portion off right over here because that's definitely the walking. And that puts me at right in this range. So let me zoom back out. You scroll back up and when you're done, you hit save. And notice the the metrics, uh, the miles and the time updated here, right? Let me zoom out a little so you can all see that. Hmm, it doesn't look like I'm gonna, it's gonna fit. But remember, it was 50 something hour, 50 something minutes or so uh, in the previous one. So you just hit save. It says charts, charts, maps, and other data will be updated to match your new time and distance in the activity details. Just go ahead and hit save. You give it a minute to prompt and now look you have a Garmin file with the accurate uh, time and distance so now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it from the cell phone app all right so 
for those of you who don't know, I typically end my workday with a short bike ride from my office over to Patton Station. It's usually about, you know, anywhere between 1.3 to 1.6 miles. And today I was in a particular rush. Hence, you see this 7.96, nearly 8 mile uh, bike ride, right? So let's take a closer look at this ride. And what you'll see is I forgot to hit stop, right? So I went and uh, I rode from my office, you know, on the east side, made my way up, docked the bike, and didn't press stop and just jump and essentially just ran for the train and totally forgot all about it. Uh, it looks like it lost signal. And, you know, it kind of flew all the way across the line. And, you know, that's where the I got prompted with the first lap. And I realized, oops, I forgot to stop. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to fix this file in Garmin so that it's all correct, right? So you go into the... Um, file and you press this is from the Garmin Connect app you go into these three buttons in your upper right hand corner and then you go to edit activity and you'll see all the way at the bottom there is trim activity so you're going to click the trim activity and here there's kind of two ways to going ahead and doing this right so you'll see up on top you're able to trim the activity by time or trim the activity by distance, right? So sometimes you know, hey, look, I did a 30 minute run. Or you'll know, look, I did a three mile run. So depending on how much. Now I know that I rode about 1.6 miles today because I rode to the uh, further. There wasn't any bike parking at the, um, the earlier stations where I would normally dock. I actually had to go around the block. So I'm gonna go with distance and you're gonna see trim start, trim end, Right, so when did you start? When did you end? So I'm going to go with the end and I'm going to take that down to one. And I know it's right around six. So let's see. And I'm going to show you how to confirm. And for those of you who use the metric system, you can toggle back and forth between miles and uh, kilometers. Okay, so 1.6, and I'm going to hit done. And now you're going to notice, you're going to look at this graph, right? And you see this dotted line, that's where the activity is going to end. And actually, if you take a look at this, I didn't quite finish at 1.6. You notice I was slowing down right over here. There's that slow down. And that's me docking the bike and then walking before. So I'm going to say maybe 1.63. So let's go ahead and see. We're going to try to get this as close as we could. Oh, I didn't even do 1.6. I did 1.06. So let's see. Let's bring it up to 1.6. I definitely know it's 1.6 because I'm familiar with the route enough that it's over a mile and a half for sure. So let's see what 1.6 gets us. Okay, so notice there's still a little bit more. So let's do 1.63. Oh, I did do 1.6. It just toggled back. Look at that. So let's try, let's try 1.63. And there we go. That's pretty close. You notice that that's pretty much at the stop. 1.63, 13, 13 minutes and 14 seconds, 7.4 miles an hour. That sounds about right. That's typically what it is, right? So if you have something that you do on a regular basis and you just forgot to hit start, that's a great way to do it. Now let's see what happens when we hit save. So save changes, charts, maps, and other data will be updated to match your new time and distance in your activity detail don't be afraid because you can always revert it back to the original file and i'll show you how to do that in just a second so watch i'll hit save and now let's take a look at this new map and that looks about right right so here i am starting on the east side making my way over to penn station and remember i mentioned before you see where Hotel Pennsylvania is on the right side of the screen? That's usually where I would dock. And if I don't find parking there, I'll make my way down to where that Starbucks is on that uh, next corner. And, you know, then I'll definitely head on over. If I don't find parking there, there's always parking at this location. And this looks to be spot on right over here.
All right. So there you have it. That's how you edit a file. And now let's just say you wanted to go ahead and you feel like you made a mistake and you wanted to revert it back. That's no problem. Just hit those three buttons again in the upper right hand corner. And then you'll see restore original and restore original activity. Any changes made to this activity after it was uploaded to Garmin Connect will be lost. So you would just hit that restore button and it would bring it back. I won't do that because this looks right. I hope you found this useful, folks. Uh, please like and subscribe. All right, so if we wanted to go ahead and restore the original file using the um, web-based or browser-based Garmin Connect, all you would do is you'd head over to this little gear right here where it says more, and then go down to restore original, and it's gonna prompt you restore original activity. Any changes made to this activity after it was uploaded to Garmin Connect will be deleted. So you just go ahead and hit restore, some time and there you are you see that our activity has been brought back to the original state so you see here this is the modified Garmin file that we just edited but we want to restore it back to the original so I clicked on it and what I'm going to do is click on the three dots in the upper right corner and you'll see the fourth option down says restore original. All you have to do is click on that, restore original activity. Any changes made to this activity after it was uploaded to Garmin Connect will be lost. We're okay with that because we know how to go ahead and trim these activities anyway. So we're just gonna go ahead and hit restore. And you'll see that our activity is back to normal. So that's a wrap, folks. That's how you can crop and edit a uh, Garmin Connect file. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, uh, it would mean a lot if you would like and subscribe. Thanks very much.